Thalassery cuisine refers to the distinct cuisine from Thalassery town of Northern Kerala, that has blended in Arabian, Persian, Indian and European styles of cooking as a result of its long history as a maritime trading post. Thalassery is known for its biryani, in local dialect, biri yaa ni. Unlike other biryani cuisines, Thalassery biryani uses kaimat jirakasala rice instead of the usual basmati rice. The influence of Arabian, Mughal culture is evident, especially in the dishes of the Muslim community. Although many have become popular among all communities, Thalassery also occupies a special place in the modern history of Kerala as the pioneer of its bakery industry, since the first bakery was started by Mambali Bapu in 1880 and the Western style cakes were introduced in 1883. Malabar cuisine there are broadly two classes of the non-vegetarian cuisine in Kerala, Malabar cuisine which is from North Kerala and Syrian Christian cuisine which is from the South, Travancore and Kochi regions. The two are clearly distinct from each other, the former has Mughlai Arab, Portuguese, British, Dutch, Jewish and French influences and the latter includes a mix of Kerala traditional dishes rich in coconut as well as various recipes of Syrian, Dutch, Portuguese or British origin. Most dishes of Malabar cuisine, including thalassery biryani, involve frying in ghee, there are sweet and spicy variants and they are predominantly non-vegetarian. Some typical examples include Ari Pathiri, Chatti Pathiri, Coin Parotas, Kalumakaya Fry, Arakaduka and Biryanis with chicken, mutton, prawn, fish, egg as well as sweeteners such as Alisa, Kadalaparipu Ada and Kajakodan Halwa. Biryani is traditionally seen only as an occasional serving and not as staple food. Breakfast dishes include pathiri, oroti etc. The sweeteners are mostly used as snacks to be consumed in the afternoon or early evening. Biryani was introduced into the region due to the Islamic influence and the recipe gradually evolved into Thalassery Biryani. Thalassery Faluda Thalassery Faluda is a regional variant of the Persian dessert. This is a cocktail of fruit salad, dry fruits such as black currant, pista, cashew, almond, bottom, rose milk and vanilla ice cream. Green mussel dishes The Asian green mussel pernavoridus cuisines are favored in thalassery dishes. The mussel is called kalu mma kaya fruit on the stone or kaduka. They grow on rocks in contact with the sea. Other dishes include kalumakaya porachathu, fried mussel, arakaduka, stuffed in shell mussel, steamed and fried, kalumakaya ulurthiath or mussel stir fry, kalumakaya veritiathu, mussel pickles. Alambaka clams are also popular. The green mussel's popularity led farmers to employ aquaculture in local rivers to increase supplies. Thalassery natives are known for their generous hospitality towards guests. Thalassery snacks Another thalassery dish is kazi ke kalu, made of sliced and fried tapioca. Papadam pazam kuzakal, aval um poriam kuzakal or other popular dishes, mutamala, taripoli, pazam narashatu, fried banana filled with grated coconut sugar or jaggery, unakaya, kayi pola, chatti pathiri and ari pathiri are other local dishes. Porridges such as mutari kachiatu, ragi porridge, are popular. Mutamala and mutasirka are a traditional sweet made using egg, where mutamala is yellow noodle like made of egg yolk and mutasirka is white colored and made of egg white. Typically, mutamala is spread over pieces of mutasirka, and they are further adorned with cherries. Unakai, unake, also known as unakaya, unaka, kai ada, and kai porichathu, is a spindle shaped sweet dessert made of plantains. It is a famous Malabar snack often served at weddings, iftar parties and other festivities. It is prepared by stuffing plantain with flavored coconut and optionally with egg and fried in ghee. Chatti pathiri is similar to lasagna where layers of spiced masala beef or chicken mixture are placed between layers of egg dipped pancakes and baked in oven. It is especially served in Malabar Muslim weddings and reception parties. Thalassery biryani Thalassery biryani IPA, tea, lai, bij, is a rice-based dish blended with spices and chicken. 
As it is the only biryani recipe in Kerala cuisine, it can also be called Kerala biryani. The main difference between thalassery biryani and other biryanis is that it uses only kamat jirakasala rice. A short grain, thin rice which is also called biryani rice in Kerala. The dish does not use basmati rice. Biryani is an exotic dish of Mughal origin, but this variant is an indigenous recipe of Malabar. It is a symbol of the cultural amalgamation of Mughal and Malabari cuisines. The Mughals brought the cuisine of biryani from Samarkand, and later variations of biryani developed in different parts of India. Thalassery biryani may have come to the region because of the influence of the Muslim rulers of Mysore and Arcot. Thalassery biryani is a cultural embodiment and is reminiscent of foreign influences in Malabar. It is a reminder of the Mughal Arab cultural influence in North Kerala due to the trade that lasted for many centuries before the 1900s and the emigration to the Middle East of locals from the 1970s onwards. Thalassery Seaport was an export trade center for spices where a convergence of European, Arab and Malabar cultures occurred. Etymology The name, Thalassery Biryani, Malayalam, Thalassery Biryani Hindi, Thalassery Biryani Tamil, Thalassery Biryani Arabic, Biryani Tulshari Bengali, Thalassery Biryani originates from Thalassery, a town in the coastal Malabar region in North Kerala, India. The word, Biryani, is derived from the Persian word Biryan, N, Biryan which means, fried, or, roasted. Biryani was believed to have been invented in the kitchens of the Mughal emperors. Thalassery biryani is one of many ways of preparing biryani dishes. In the local dialect Malayalam, there is a small variation in pronunciation. It is called biri yaa ni instead of biryani. Historical and cultural influences Thalassery biryani is an ample insignia of the Islamic cultural influence in the region. The dish is a traditional Mapilla or Malabar cuisine. Ancient written records, except for a few treatises by historians, citing the origin of Mapilla's Malabar Muslims are rare. The mythology about the conversion of the last Shara emperor, Cheraman Purumal, Rama Varma Kulasekara Purumal, to Islam from Mahodayapuram by Malik Diner and subsequent conversion of Purumal's sister and nephew residing in Dharmadam, a village located north of Thalassery, is generally believed to be the origin of Islam in North Malabar. Purumal is believed to have left Kerala from an erstwhile feudal province in the region named Poyanad, Poyanadu, the province from where he left which lies in between Thalassery and Kanner Taliks governed by local chieftains named Randuthara Achanmar before 1947. Purumal's nephew Mahabali, is believed to be the first Ali Raja of the Arakal Kingdom, the Sultanate of Lakshadweep and Kananur, the sole Muslim kingdom of Kerala. The Arakal Kingdom controlled Dharmadam until the formation of Kerala state on 1 November 1956. The legend showcases that these incidents had a significant influence in introducing Islamic culture in Thalassery. In the ancient period Thalassery, an erstwhile port town in North Malabar, was geographically in the convergence point of three regional provinces Chirakal, Khatiyam and Kadathanad. It was also the end point of the Peria Pass. Coming from the eastern hilly areas of Korg and Wayanad making it an important trade center of spices in Malabar. The Arab traders, the Arkot rulers and the invasion of Sultanate of Mysore were the other important factors which introduced and developed various Islamic culture in the region. During the Muslim holy month of Ramzan, Malabar dishes are made in abundant varieties. The Muslim community of Malabar differs culturally, the lifestyle of the trader communities near the coastal towns differs from that of the farming communities in the inland and hilly areas. Malabar cuisine varies throughout the region. In the modern era, as communication improved exponentially, the differences of culture between coastal and hilly area became inconspicuous, resulting in the amalgamation of food culture within the Muslim community in Malabar. The Mughlai cuisine had a significant influence upon Malabar recipes. Mughali recipes including biryani, kebab and naan spread throughout India. The ingredients included rice, maida, wheat and there was extensive use of ghee, clarified butter, and oils for preparation. Sweet delicacies were made from jaggery, unrefined sugar. 
Most of these dishes are non-vegetarian, chicken, mutton, lamb and beef are used but pork is not consumed due to religious regulations. Dish range from mild to extremely spicy, and the dishes have distinct aromas. The practice in Islamic food culture is that the non-vegetarian dishes are required to be halal. Compliant, such foods are supposed to be consumed by Muslims as a religious directive. The Malabar Mapilla dishes are preferred by some societies to be compliant with the halal method of food processing. Differences from other biryani Thalassari biryani uses a unique, fragrant, small-grained, thin rice variety named kaima or jirakasala. This rice even though small in size, is different from the common small rice used in many Indian rice dishes. Kaimat jirakasala is not round unlike these common smaller variants and the fragrance of kaimat jirakasala is another distinct feature. Other kinds of rice that could be used are jira rice, jirakasemba or small Bangladeshi biryani rice. The rice is white, short, small, grained, thin, not plum, but it is the aroma of these rice varieties which make them distinctive. The recipe and cuisine of thalassari biryani has clear conspicuous differences with other biryani variants. The kaimat jirakasala rice does not need pre-soaking, water is only used to clean the rice. After adequate boiling there should not be any water remaining in the cooking dish as it should have been evaporated completely. This is a major difference from other rice preparation, in which water has to be drained off after cooking. The blending of ghee rice with masala is done by the dumb process, a method of cooking by sealing a lid tightly and placing hot charcoal on it. The biryani masala and ghee rice are arranged in layers inside the dish. Meat is cooked with masala on slow fire. It is layered with rice and the lid of the container is sealed with maida dough or a loin cloth. Hot coal or charcoal is placed then above the lid. Thalassari biryani is a paki biryani. There are two types of biryani. Paki and kachi. In paki style, the ghee rice is added to the fully cooked chicken masala mix and then cooked by the dum process, whereas in kachi style the ghee rice is added to the half-cooked chicken and then cooked till it is fully cooked or the dum process is used. Specially dressed chicken is poured into the masala dish. The chicken is slowly cooked in the masala, and gets blended well with the juices of masala and spices. The thalassari biryani recipe has additional distinct features, unlike other biryanis it is not oily because of the dumb process used for preparation. A unique blend of spices is added and the kaima rice also adds a unique flavor. No oil is used to make the chicken, which is added raw into the masala mix. Ingredients for the recipe, see Thalassari Biryani at Wikibook Cookbooks. Kama, Jirakasala, Rice, Chicken, Onion, Ginger, Garlic, Green Chili, Lime Juice, Shallot, Coriander Leaves mint leaves tomato ghee hydrogenated vegetable oil vanaspati coconut oil edible rose water curd or yogurt table salt Spices, garam masala powder, Persian cumin, caraway, mace, turmeric powder, red chili powder, black pepper powder, crushed curry leaves, optional, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, malabar leaf, Indian bay leaf, Indian white poppy seed, kaskas, and for garnishing and texture saffron soaked in milk, pinch of artificial food color, yellow or orange, and fried coconut oil, mix of onion, cashew nuts and kismis, sultana raisins, star anise, optional, preparation. Accompaniments Common side dishes served with thalassari biryani are coconut mint chamandi, biryani chutney, South Asian pickle and raita. After the meal, hot lime black tea, known among the Muslim community as sulaimani, is served. This adds a special taste after the main course and is an aid to digestion. Lime tea is a common afters in the Malabar region, especially with a rice-based main course. Fried Indian anchovy or smelt can be served as a starter if required and this is garnished with chopped onion, curry leaves and lime juice squeezed over it. 
Fried chicken in smaller pieces is also seen in some fiestas as accompaniments or as starters. Daahashamani water, a medicated herbal water, is preferred to be used when drinking water with biryani. Daahashamani is an Ayurvedic medicine and natural thirst reliever and digestive aid prepared by mixing dry ginger, cardamom, cloves, coriander seeds, mimosa katachu, sapanwood, vetiver, puncturevine and sandal wood. It is usually available in local markets. Popularity The dish is popular and is often served in Malabar in weddings and other celebrations and parties. Biryani is an unavoidable dish for the Muslim community. Even though sadhya is the traditional cuisine for Hindu weddings in the region, Hindus and Christians often serve biryani, mainly because it is easier to prepare than other main course dishes and it is a complete food that avoids the extra effort of making curry. Unlike South Kerala, non-vegetarian dishes are served during Onam and Vishu in Malabar and biryani is often served on these occasions. Nutrition the dish is rich in nutrients as it is a rice spice dish. It is high in proteins and carbohydrates, and is also a source of minerals and vitamins. Nutritional value, according to U.S. Department of Agriculture, of the spices is mentioned in the notes. The dish contains unsaturated and saturated fats. The saturated fat can be reduced by adjusting the quantities of hydrogenated vegetable oil and ghee. In fiction the Malayalam movie, Ostad Hotel, is based on the preparation of Malabar biryani. The film is about a restaurant that specializes in Malabar cuisines that were made without adulteration and according to traditional recipes. The film narrates that customers choose this restaurant for the authenticity of the dishes. The fictional restaurant depicted in the film is a prominent destination for food lovers as the cuisine is based on genuine Malabar recipes. The restaurant serves their flagship dish Thalassari Biryani to all customers who reach there for the first time. The story depicts these customers as admiring the dish from the first time itself and whenever they come back to the city they choose this restaurant and order this biryani the story depicts the importance of fiesta in Malabar culture. The choice of making the recipe of Malabar biryani as a theme for a blockbuster film shows how elegantly the dish is perceived in Malabar region and throughout Kerala. See also Biryani Thalassery Cuisine of Kerala South Indian cuisine List of rice dishes Notes and references Notes Name of ingredients and their corresponding nutritional value, link to this is given as highlighted superscript. Data Reference, Nutrient Data Laboratory, United States Department of Agriculture Agricultural Research Service. Items marked in asterisk, asterisk are optional ingredients. References Bibliography of notable references Further reading Malabar Biryani, Abdullah, Ummi Malabar Muslim Cookery. Orient Black Swan. ISBN 8125013490. Hyderabadi Biryani, Karen, Pratiba A Princely Legacy, Hyderabadi Cuisine. HarperCollins. ISBN 81-7223-318-3. Basmati Chicken Biryani, Grandi, Bindu Spice Up Your Life, The Flexitarian Way. New York, Cedar Fort. p. 109. ISBN 1599552736. External links Thalassery Cuisine at Wikibook Cookbooks